bike pumps. If you've got a bicycle, you need a pump. Preferably one you can take with you in case you have a flat, you need to air up a tire, change a tire, patch a tire, or just pump up that tire when it's in the garage. Today we're going to talk about the bike pump that I chose, give you some of the specs and the details, and have a look at it. If you've seen my setup on the Trek FX3, you know that I have a frame bag from Ortlieb here, and this is where I put my pump, right here. This is the Topeak Road Morph G, and Velcro just holds it in there. So, just snaps out of there like that. Comes with a standard plastic frame with the plastic clips that can either be mounted with the bottle cage screws or also with zip ties. And the Velcro, of course, is there just to hold the pump in place. So you can place it in multiple locations on the bike, but this is what worked out well with my frame bag. So let's have a look at this and get some specs and details and show you a little bit about it. Okay, here's the Topeak Road Morph G bike pump. You get an idea of about how long it is, a little over a foot in length. We'll go ahead and throw it on the scale. About 208 grams or 7.3 ounces. Basically the pump nozzle sort of latches in there like this, comes out, also rotates to either side, whichever side is easiest for you. Has this handy little flip down foot peg to put your foot on while you're pumping it. Also the handle twists to come out and has a handle that makes a nice little T-handle for you to be able to get grip on pump in and out. The nozzle supports both Schrader and Presta valves. You put it on there, flip this up of course, and that puts it in place. Also has a built-in tire gauge and we'll show you kind of how that works and we'll see how many pumps it takes to kind of take a tire up a little bit in pressure. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and uh, place this on the tire. And we'll go ahead and pop this out. Right now we've got about, well, a little less than 30 PSI. So I'm going to go ahead and pump this to 60. Okay, that's 47 strokes to get it up to about 60 PSI. See, like so. Push this back in. We're back in there, ready to go. Put it back in here. Snaps in place. Crows down, good to go. Good solid pump, been very happy with it. That's a quick look at the Road Morph G pump for your bike. The documentation says it'll pump to 160 PSI, but the gauge on the actual pump will only read up to 140. So if you're gonna go that high, you're gonna have to do something, uh, some other type of measurement to measure the pressure. Uh, I have no idea how long it'll take you to get to 160 PSI. But I know for 60, 70, 80 PSI, it's not a problem to use the pump for that. So good product, been happy with it. Uh, consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. We'll have more videos coming. Thanks for watching.